So again, that was fight number one. Quillen over Yi by a unanimous decision to begin our evening on Friday Night Fights. Now we're going to get set for the second bout of the evening, Gavin. This is going to be a super welterweight affair, another amateur fight. Joe Parola is going to take, take the ring against Alex Cardenas out of Atlanta. Joe Barola, another young, impressive fighter out of uh, Steve, out of Five Points Academy, Stephen Millis and Arjan Simon Burgess. Uh, really turning out over the past almost 14, 15 years, impressive fighters. Um, Greg Rowe, Giovanni Macardo, Reamer Sadu, um, just every every year they have such a great stable of fighters. And Joe Moreau is one of the young up-and-comers. He loves what he does, great fighter, really active, really enjoys his sport, and you can tell when, he, when he's competing. Um, looking forward to seeing how this goes. These two gentlemen going past each other. Looks like Morella is uh, sealing the ring, Gavin. Sealing the ring. Um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of fighters. And I love it. Joe Morella has a sponsorship by St. Vitus Bar in Brooklyn. Um, a lot of fighters, as opposed to doing the uh, the full wide crew, will seal the ring. That's basically just to contain, keep the energy Ladies within the ring. For lucky strike here in Midtown Manhattan. We are to go with our next battle right, of the job. evening. Three rounds of full rules Muay Thai schedule in the 152 pound weight division. Your referee for this contest is Marcel Varela. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he wears black with red trim. He weighed in at 151.8 pounds. He represents American Top Team. From Atlanta, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alex Cardenas. Cardenas. And his opponent across the ring, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He wears blue and silver. He also weighed in at a ready 151.8 pounds. He represents five points from right here in New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Marola. Marola. So the first male competitors we'll see this evening. Apologize for cutting you off earlier, Gavin. Uh, you were explaining the sealing the ring tradition in Muay Thai. Sealing the ring, uh, people will do it as opposed to running a full Y group. It's a, it's a traditional thing of sealing the ring, basically to keep any bad energy, bad spirits out of the ring and let the fighters do what they have to do. Muay Thai, of course, a sport steeped in tradition, centuries old. The action in fight number two this evening begins. It's Marola and Cardenas. Some low kicks right out of the gate for Marola. Now, Gavin, this is a full rules Muay Thai affair. Yep, they're wearing the elbow pads, so you're gonna see you're gonna see elbow shots. Cardenas is carrying his hands really low. Um, up. Cardenas goes upstairs with the left we'll leg. A little bit of a karate uh, influence there, Cardenas. Now, will that type of dump score any points for Cardenas, Kevin? That should score points for him if the judges see it correctly. Um, in Thailand, throws score the most points. Throws, knees, and kicks. America, it tends to be a little bit different. Marola trying to rebound after taking a couple of good right legs from Cardenas. Tries one of his own, not a lot of muster behind that one. Now oh, here he is up against the ring, up against the ropes. Marola falls to his knees trying to clinch with Cardenas. And the referee, Marcel Varela, has to break up the two fighters. Cardenas is really, really unorthodox. Um, he seems really comfortable with keeping his hands low. He hits at weird angles. Uh, his kicks are almost invisible the way he puts them up. It's just uh, he, he he covers them well. And Marola comes in with an elbow. Marola tried that short elbow, and then he tried a rear leg round kick upstairs. It was more of a glancing blow. Now he goes left upstairs with the left leg. Cardenas is ready for it. And Marola hits the canvas again, but that was a tangle, no knockdown. No, that, that was up. That was that was a tangle, but that was a jump there. Cardenas oh, really? knew what he was doing there. Yeah. He caught Marola off balance. So that look, was that now was that legal there? It looked like he tried to yeah, corral the leg of Marola. He had one second to do it and he did it. 
There can't be an extended hold of the you opponent's leg. You can't have an extended hold, you can't plow. Oh, round a little bit after the bell. Comes to an end. Marcel Varela has to break up the two fighters. We are through round number one. Marola and Cardenas on Friday Night Fights. maneuver um it, there, 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 there's a lot of danger in throwing if you get out timed on that you could end up dunking it didn't work for him on that one Marola is starting to move a little bit more and he's starting to find his numbers which is good uh Karnas, like i said again he hits it out angles you can see where he's setting up for that that spinning kick again walks in and sets up the knees fight the score so far. Yeah, I mean, both men doing some decent work, but both men have had their struggles as well. Yeah. It's, I mean, good fights always back and forth. Uh, Marola's got his... A, a, an awkward fighter is... In, I mean, fights mixed balls. An awkward fighter is really diff difficult to work against. And you can see that Cardinac doesn't... He's not orthodox. You're seeing a lot of karate influence. That axe kick right there. Very Andy Hood, early K-1 style. Um, Wherefore, you know, more, the five points as five points is a very traditional, straight up, strict Muay Thai style. You won't see as much of the unorthodox spinning stuff. Um, you'll see more leg kicks, more knees, punching. But yeah, again, Cardamas finds his range and throws. Marola pushes Cardamas into the corner. Nice elbow from Cardamas. Short elbow, those are very dangerous. Oh, absolutely. Even with the pads on, that can cut. Good sportsmanship there by Cardenas as time winds down in round the last two. ten. Body, body. Again, action in the far corner. The round is over. Let's listen in and see the action going on in the respective corners. Ready to roll in round number three of a full rules amateur Muay Thai fight. Just the second of a 13 fight card here from Lucky Strike Manhattan in New York. Mario Lagani with Gavin Van Black. Marola comes out firing and Cardenas stops in his tracks. And Marola's, Marola's got to get busy. In my opinion, he's behind on the cards. He's got he's got to start, he's got to start making his points back. A little bit of hit to a grind in that triangle went down. The official Rep, Marcel Rep will put him in the corner and give him, he'll, he'll get up to five minutes to settle it out. Marcel Barillo brings the halt to the action. Now we're, time is in now. Fighters go back to work. Cardenas, wasting no time going on the attack. 
Roller clearly having some issues with one of his wheels right now. But he's standing oh. strong and oh, avoided disaster there. That we had just avoided that one. Goodness gracious. Again, Rolla hits the deck. But Morales, Morales is a gamer. He, I mean, he gets hit, he'll smile at his opponent. And he's got, that's one thing you cannot train his heart. And he's got mad heart. And this is what happens when you get up to A-class amateur, which is where they're at now, the water gets very deep. These are kids that are looking to, or these are fighters, so I'm not even gonna say kids, that are looking to go pro, that are looking to have a pro career at this point. So their next, their next, you know, 10 fights, Wow, takes it seriously to the jaw. Oh, short elbows goodness. there by Short Marilla. elbows. Goodness gracious. We need to see some jaw fortitude here. Marola trying to close the show in style here as round three comes to a close. Now Cardenas had Marola up against ropes for a moment, but Marola able to escape. We're going to have another last 10 seconds. Here. Unless something major happens in the final moment. Oh, well, that was an interesting that was an interesting fight Gavin because both men had some good blows both men landed elbows Marola seemed to hit the deck quite a bit throughout the course of the fight but it was more of it was a grappling match throughout it was interesting also because like the old saying styles make fights Cardamax came out very unorthodox. You can see a lot of karate influence. Carried his hands very, relatively low. Um, again, Marola coming out of Five Points Academy, very traditional high school. They, I mean, they really have made an art out of the front team. They're very linear fighters to a degree, but Marola switched up and he realized he couldn't sit in front of Cardamax. The constant evolution throughout the three rounds of them trying to figure out each other out. Um, my opinion is I think Cardamass, when it goes to the court, took a little bit, took, he put in a little bit more work. I think uh, Marola, Marola took more damage. So uh, we're gonna see what the judges have to say about that. Another hotly contested fight. Let's go up to David Diamante for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action here at Lux, we go to judges score for Lux. Judge A and B both scored this bout 30 to 27. Judge C scored this contest 29 to 28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, representing American Top Team, Alex Cardenas. Well, how about that, Kevin? Another unanimous decision, and I think uh, maybe a little lopsided for what we saw in the ring. Um, a bit, I mean, I think possibly you're going to see it varies with the judging. Um, if you get judges who prefer more traditional Muay Thai style, you're going to see guys, even though Cardamas didn't come out traditional, he had more throws. And those are where you're going to get maximum points. Friday night fights with another outstanding bit of action here. That was just fight number two, folks. Plenty more ahead from Lucky Strike Manhattan.